If I was asked this question, say, six months to a year ago, my answer would probably be anywhere on the island or even Gozo. But right now, I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. So you should not be taking that blanket advice about where to stay on the island as a foreign professional or an expert in 2024. Hello, people. You're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Moe Douglas. So it's a sunny day today and I'm recording on my balcony because I absolutely love this view. As you can already tell from the title, today I'll be discussing some of the best neighborhoods for expats and foreign professionals to stay or live on the island. So I've been seeing a lot of information about how Malta is a really small island and you can live pretty much anywhere and everything and everywhere would be accessible to you. Hmm. So it's true that Malta is a small island and driving from the north to the south of Malta can take you anytime from one hour to one and a half hour but that is only if you drive and it's a good day aka there's no traffic there are no special events it's not rush hour and definitely not a sunday afternoon so if you ask me is it a good idea to rent anywhere on the island irrespective of the circumstances my answer will be no so the best location or neighborhood for you would be depending on your unique situation and circumstances and that is the honest truth as an expert or foreign professional there is a whole lot to consider before you sign that lease i mean are you going to be working fully remote or hybrid or on-site? If it's a hybrid setting, how often will you be commuting? Would you be driving or do you intend to use a public transportation system? All of this you need to put into consideration and especially your budget. Also, what is your ideal home environment? Is it peace and quiet or bubbly? All of these questions are pertinent to you know, decide which neighborhood would be the best fit for you and your unique circumstance if you go ahead to rent anywhere on the island because you've heard it's small without considering all of these circumstances you are definitely going to struggle so although malta is small it is the most densely populated eu capital and on top of that malta welcomes hundreds if not thousands of tourists every single week i mean thanks to the 300 days of sunshine there is not a single day in a year that you would visit valletta and you would not find the streets fully packed with people almost bumping into each other and a good percentage of them still rolling suitcases that still have their airline tags on them so if you're working fully remotely i think the idea of living anywhere on the island would still work for you especially if you drive and you do not intend to commute a lot however if you have the hybrid or on-site arrangement this means you would have to commute and in this case i recommend that you do not rent an apartment that is too far away from your place of work ideally say a 15 to 20 minutes bus ride situation excluding walking would be ideal so if your office is located in the central areas like Siema and cedar floriana st julian's like most offices in malta are it would be in your best interest to rent around these areas or in nearby neighborhoods like Nasha, Mosta, Brekikara, or Hamron, for instance. You may be thinking, I don't mind traveling one hour plus to work. I do it in my current city and it's not a big deal. <laughs> well, you already know that Malta is a small island and on a good day, you can drive across towns and neighborhoods in 10 to 15 minutes and this lifestyle and accessibility will go on you. You would quickly adapt to short commutes and accessibility and suddenly being stuck in traffic for one hour would be a daunting chore. So if you put yourself in a situation where you have to make long commutes to basically everywhere, aka work, fun gatherings, church, and everywhere on the island, you're not going to have a good time. It is also important to know that some locations are not as well connected as others when it comes to using the public transportation. So this is something you have to consider before you sign that lease or before you settle on a neighborhood or a location to rent. Also, the island tends to be insanely packed in the summer months and that messes up the public transportation system. I mean, buses get stuck in traffic and they are almost always fully packed. So imagine if you have to deal with this type of situation if you have a daily one hour plus commute to work or even to the beach. This means that you likely spend anywhere north of 30 minutes plus on the bus stop post schedule waiting for a bus that is stuck in traffic probably fully packed and if you're lucky you get to stand and it only goes downhill from there so in my opinion and experience you're going to be better off and have an amazing time on the island when you live close to places that are important to you aka work church 
school and fun places so whether you're a student or a working professional you should consider your day-to-day -day before signing that lease or settling for the apartment in that neighborhood thank you guys for watching as always do not forget to like subscribe and share this video and until i come your way again in my next video do have an amazing day bye, -bye.